Hey family, many years ago, I was given the book, Look to the North Star by Uncle Earl, Uncle Ring, Brian, and Cheryl Prince. The author spoke of standing near an elderly woman from Ohio at a Labor Day parade back in 1949. I always imagined that that woman was my grandma, Mary Ann Moore Travis, wife of James Albert Travis, because she used to love to come to Buxton for the homecomings because her roots were in Buxton. The theme generations definitely describes our family because we have returned to Buxton for almost every Labor Day, which began, of course, with Grandma, continued through the different generations and ended up with me. And I have rarely missed any Labor Day. And it's so strange not having been up to Canada since November of last year. Many of you know that I was first um, taken to Canada when I was three months old by my daddy, Bert Clater, who was rarely seen on Labor Day without a camera around his neck. In fact, we have so many volumes of pictures from Labor Day celebrations. And I can still picture him in his Bermuda shorts and knee socks going with Uncle Welly down the lane for a gathering of the men folks at Uncle Earl's house for liquid refreshment after Labor Day parades. We were so happy that he was able to go for his last Labor Day celebration in September of 2004 because he did pass away a week after getting back from that Labor Day celebration. On one of my grandma's um, last Labor Day visits, she took me to the church cemetery um, to put flowers on Grandpa William and Grandma Elmira Moore, her parents' grave. And the headstone kind of looks like a scroll. And she told me that was going to be my responsibility now that she was too old to make the trip to Buxton. A few years ago, I took my son and my niece to that location and showed them and gave them the charge that that is what they would have to do. Because, you know, Buxton is in our blood and we have to maintain those memories and the history that surrounds our family from one generation to the next. I have enjoyed the Labor Day parades and one year Brian even let me drive a tractor pulling a float in the parade. If the Lord delays and um, he doesn't come back anytime soon, I hope my new great-granddaughter, Skylar Nicole, will join the ranks of family members who love Buxton and look forward to Labor Day homecomings. If so, she will be the seventh generation from our family to celebrate the fabulous history of Buxton and attend Labor Day celebrations. It has been strange not visiting Buxton um, for Labor Day, but I am so happy for the family and friends that are up there and who are planning this virtual Labor Day for us. We look forward to all the things that you have planned and we just thank God for you continuing this legacy and for your thoughtfulness. So happy Labor Day, family, and love to you all. This is from Wanda Clater in Cleveland, Ohio.